Today, we're gonna make a pinwheel. Here's what you'll need. A ruler, some pencils, a hot glue stick, some scissors, straight pins with the balls on the end, and a piece of paper. First, you can make a design on your paper. We used cardstock, but you can also use regular paper or construction paper. A pinwheel is similar to a wind turbine. Wind turbines like this one can change the energy and wind into electricity. You're going to need a square piece of paper, so I didn't color my whole page. In order to make your paper square, you're going to need to measure the width of your paper and make your length the same size. My square is 8 inches by 8 inches. Next, draw a line diagonally from corner to corner. Then, you're going to want to cut a line from the corner to about 3 quarters from the center. Then do that on all four sides. Now you're going to want to cut about a half of an inch off the end of your glue stick. You're going to want to use a pencil with an eraser on the end. Now here comes the fun part. You're going to want to take your pen and poke it through the corners of your piece of paper like so. Just like that. And then take another corner and do the same thing. Poke it through the other corner. And then take this corner and poke it through. And then take this corner and poke it through. And then take it through the middle and poke it through where your two lines meet. So it go like this. And then take the end of your pin. Poke it through the end of your eraser. Take your little bit of hot glue. Put your pin in it. And here's my finished pinwheel. As the wind blows into the pockets of the pinwheel, it spins them in a counterclockwise direction. Click here to watch my last video, Newton's Flying Beads. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button for first access to my new videos. Leave a comment below if you try making your own pinwheel. Thanks for watching!